welcome to Home Keepers. Hope you could sit down and have a cup of tea with us today. We, we are really going to give you some great, great information. It's no secret that uh, America's got a lot of health problems. I've heard that we are the most obese and the most drugged up nation in the world. It's kind of sad uh, realizing our resources. But I have a gentleman here today that I've been aware of for far more than 10 years and it's a delight to meet him. Uh, and that's Dr. Uh, Barry Sears. And he is the founder, inventor, author of The Zone Diet. And <clears throat> the more I find out about this, the more interesting it is. So all of you, be sure to stay tuned. You new people, we are so glad to have any new viewer out there. You are so welcome. Please don't this, let this be your last time. But uh, we are going to talk to uh, Dr. Sears about this phenomenal uh, kind of a revolution he started more than, way more than 10 years ago. In fact, I did buy the first book probably about 1998 or something like that. And other books have followed. <clears throat> this one is about toxic fat and uh, same author as The Zone, but also um, he has, I, I'm trying to remember, I wrote it down, how many books he has written, kind of one builds upon the other <clears throat> in a future program where we'll be talking about inflammation and uh, you who watch us all the time you know about Deborah Ray we're always talking about the perils of inflammation well um, he will be shedding some light on that so I'm going to join him in the uh, kitchen where we are going to give you a display of the amazing food you can eat and uh, still lose weight and more importantly be much much healthier uh, the things that will be revealed about this food I think you'll find astounding so we're going to offer this book uh, for uh, <clears throat> a homekeeper's offer if you want to use your credit card call 1-800-229-0059 or write to us at post office box 6922 Clearwater Florida 33758 and you will get this very very instructive book about uh, toxic fat I think it's interesting that our first later lady even is um, wanting to especially help our young people stay away from being obese and help those who are anyway I've joined uh, doctor <coughs> pardon me I've joined dr. Sears over here in the kitchen a pleasure I am so glad to have you here and we've had very few men here so <laughs> you're you're very special but um, when did you when did you write the first zone book? The first zone book was written in 1995, some 16 years ago. And I, I was uh, intrigued because all these women with beautiful bodies were <laughs> using it, uh, movie stars and so forth, but also, and we'll talk about that more a bit, little bit later, the uh, football players, NFL, right. they're into this too. Well, because again, the whole goal of the zone book was written not to basically talk about how to lose weight, but how to control inflammation in your body. It's inflammation that makes us fat and keeps us fat. It's inflammation that accelerates chronic disease. It's inflammation that causes Alzheimer's. So if you can basically find out how to control this inflammation, not using a drug, but using food, you had the, really the key to the future of a longer and better life. Th this is totally amazing because if you're gonna find out all this stuff you love to eat is not loaded with bad carbs, it's actually even the bagel is made of protein. Well, uh, when we first started out with the zone diet, I said, here's a good rule of thumb. Never eat pasta. Never eat bread. Never eat pasta, or basically pizza. And people say, no, no, I, I really get Everybody fat, say, sick, and you. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay. So for 15 years, I said, uh, would things say, here's what I want to eat. I want to eat lots of colorful carbohydrates like fruits and vegetables, a small amount of protein, no bigger than the palm of your hand, and cut back on the white carbohydrates. Well, that would go into one ear and right out the other. So I said, this would get me nowhere. So rather than telling people what they should eat, I said, perhaps it's more productive to ask what they'd like to eat. And for most Americans, those are the three Ps, pizza, pasta, pastry. So five years ago, I saw a new R&D project to say, can we take the foods that people like to eat and restructure them? So they look like the pizza and pasta, they taste like it, but they give a different hormonal response and shut down hunger, just like a gastric bypass surgery. And if that was possible, then you wouldn't ask people to change their diets because they won't, mm -hmm. but you'd sit now simply change the food ingredients in their diets and basically rebalance their hormones 
allow them to live that longer and better life they I want to. I think you were one of the first ones to start talking about that hormone and the spike in the insulin yes. and that kind of thing. Uh, right now I want to show you, now this is one, one week's yes. supply and you can order it um, I suppose online or you get on the program. Yes. And then it, uh, there's all kinds of resources available on the website and also this will come with it. Uh, <clears throat> Losing weight easy is one, two, three, and recipes that are healthy. You know, the thing that really leaves me a little bit speechless is that that this and this bagel and this pasta are protein. Exactly. The, the key thing. Let, let's take this as a uh, this uh, is sandwich roll. This contains as much protein as a four egg white omelet, and more importantly, it has the same impact on your blood sugar as eating a strawberry. Whoa! And so all of a sudden, say, well, me, mean <laughs> what I find. What say? It's say, say, I, 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 and you say, I could do this. That's the key phrase. When people come to talk about diets, it's not that you're looking to lose weight. That's easy. It's keeping the weight off. So you say, whatever I do to lose the weight, I have to follow for the rest of my life to keep the weight off. Now most people say, okay, that means if I had to eat bagels, pizza, and pasta the rest of my life, I can do that. Mm -hmm. And the, once they say that, say, we've solved the compliance problem. I didn't mention that he's a scientist, uh, which kind of gives you a little credibility. Well, <laughs> it, it does, but, but yet at the same time, say, this is all basically understanding of a new breakthroughs in molecular biology, how food affects our genes, and that's a very powerful statement. And when we sit down to talk, we want to talk about why you exactly. did this. But I, I want to get a close-up on some of this uh, food. This is, like, this is a, a tuna. A tuna, on a, pasta. On pasta, but on now on zone pasta. Do not do this with regular pasta right. by any stretch. And you have add some asparagus to the side. And it, uh, that's a acceptable portion, right? That's a wonderful, because if you eat that, that size portion, you will not be hungry for the next six hours. Okay, and here's another um, lunch. This is, well, it, this it, is pasta it, and orzo. It, well, it looks, it looks like rice, yeah. but it's orzo. And again, what you see is colorful carbohydrates, but again, that contains the same amount of protein. Okay, as a now that looks like white. it's got uh, some kind of a dressing. Would it have olive oil in it? Yes, or you yes. wash the oils too? Yes, very much so. And maybe we can talk about that. This, this is the amazing thing. And I've tasted these, they're very, very good. These, this is a chocolate chip cookie, and this is M&M's, and then I, um, what other kind do we have here? Oh, we've got like some, some peanut oatmeal, butter. and peanut butter. A wide variety, but the key thing, two of those cookies, again, has the same amount of protein as a 4 a white omelet. So you say, uh, some people are saying, especially males, say, I got it. If I eat nothing but cookies, I would lose weight. They're saying, yes, that, that's the wonderful part about it. There is a God. Yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, now here we have sandwiches. That, that looks like a regular sandwich. Uh, you've got the avocado. You've got, uh, look like a, some kind of a sliced ham on you call, I call them a bagel, you call them a sandwich roll? Well, the, the, this is two pieces of, uh, of zone bread because now the, the bread is doing all the heavy lifting. What you put bet between the bread is almost inconsequential. So Yeah, that makes sense. So I just put something there, but I could have two pieces of bread and this would be a complete meal. And here we go with a, it's like a bit of a yogurt parfait well, or something. Everybody knows that yogurt's good for you, except it doesn't taste very good. So what do food manufacturers do? They shovel more sugar into it until it tastes right. fine. So what we've done here is take natural yogurt and basically added now our granola that basically yeah, has, which is this. Which has all the protein and it's throw in some blueberries and say, I could put this together. This is a complete breakfast that you can put together far faster than brewing a cup of coffee. And here's, here's the pizza crust, which that's protein, right? Yeah, exactly. Boy, that ought to make you smile. Oh, here's the here's the here's a pretzel. Right. And so what 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 we've we done? We've taken a technology that allows us to make a wide variety of food products that people like to eat. If you just tuned in, this is Dr. Barry Sears, who is the what, what would you call yourself? Founder, inventor, author, originator of the zone? Is there? I'd a right say word? I'd say probably creator of the zone. Creator. Diet. Okay. Of the zone, probably you've seen these books uh, in every kind of bookstore and in Sam's and places like that. And um, beginning in 1995, he wrote one which uh, so many people that you probably know about zoomed in on it and found it very, very helpful. And so 
you've been leading us down the path ever since to uh, better and healthier ideas, because one thing does yeah. build upon another. Exactly, and it's all about hormonal control. Women understand the power of hormones mm -hmm. to a far greater extent than men do. Right. If you can control your hormones, you control your life. What is that most powerful thing to control your hormones? The food we eat. But the door can swing both ways. They can keep your hormones in a zone where life is good, or they can drive them out of the zone where life is a lot more difficult than it has to be. Now you look at food as a drug, right? Yes. Uh, and that's derogatory to food because food is more powerful than drugs because food affects hormones and hormones are hundreds of times more powerful than any drug. Amazing story. Okay, we've got a couple more things. This would be like a, a good breakfast. Uh, a, t a great breakfast. Here we have again a, a bagel. Is that like regular cream cheese? Regular cream cheese and uh, the uh, strawberries here. But again, the bagel is doing the all the heavy lifting. The bagel is the protein. Yeah. Now this one. Well, uh, this one is basically vegetables. It's saying right. the one thing you like to do, we're trying to make life simple for people. Say, don't worry about buying the chicken, the beef, the fish. The protein's in the bread. So that's taken care of. Just try to eat as many vegetables as you possibly can every day. No problem for me. I love J those. Just like Grandma told you. Exactly. Boy, weren't, weren't those <laughs> old soldiers right? Well, th because they were the repository of th thousands of years of what really makes us healthy. And I do not remember obesity growing up. No. Not and like I see today. I don't no. remember. And it. again, this is the thing that will now threaten our country both healthcare wise mm -hmm. and economically. It will basically drive us into a uh, fiscal abyss unless we reverse it. That's why I developed all these foods for really treating diabetes. These are all ideally suited and we, we did our initial testing on diabetics. On diabetics. Okay, I want to uh, put that graphic up again uh, because we're offering you this book on toxic fat and if you'll, uh, yeah. if you'll look at that 800 number, 1-800-229-0059, that's for the credit cards. And <clears throat> if you don't like to use a credit card, and there are folks who do not, write to us at Post Office Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. Um, Dr. Sears and I have moved over to our little parlor mm -hmm. set, and I mentioned that I would like uh, for him to tell you exactly why uh, he got into this um, whole idea that has grown into a really, really major force in the nation and beyond. So why did you do it? Well, I personally wanted to live longer. Uh, That's a very good reason. <laughs> a good starting point. <laughs> uh, not because of weight problems, because in my family, everyone on the male side died prematurely of heart disease in their early 50s. My father died in his early 50s, and he was a world-class athlete. All of his brothers died in their early 50s, as did my grandfather. So I realized some 30 years ago, I carried the same genes that would predispose me to an early death from heart disease. Mm -hmm. I couldn't change those genes, but I somehow could change the expression. So I was at MIT at the time, and I realized that the answer was not a drug, but it's treating food like a drug, being taken at the right dosage at the right time. And that led me down the pathway to understand how food controls our genes, and by doing so, we can retake control of our future. Well. It's a good thing that you were a scientist <laughs> because uh, you might, you know, you might be in a lineup where you're, you know, you're not supposed to live very long, and well, exactly. but you wouldn't be able to uh, address it. Now, let's talk about some of the uh, celebrities, and I'm mainly interested in in the football players. You mm -hmm. you have worked with the NFL and so forth because I would think that a football player, when they're getting out there. The last thing they'd want to do is be on a diet. I mean, don't they just don't they just need a lot of fuel before they get no, out there? No, actually, on the contrary, one of the biggest problems with professional athletes is getting adequate levels of protein. Uh, you, can, you can get carbohydrates. I can eat jelly beans all day long, but getting protein is difficult. So one of the reasons we invented these foods was to basically give them the foods they like to eat, which could deliver high levels of protein to maintain.